Prost, as they say in these parts. These parts being, as you'll probably have guessed from the opening images, Munich. And today in the home of the Oktoberfest, yeah, I know it's months away, but any excuse for a beer, we're raising a glass to innovation and digital transformation. Because just up the road in the city, Huawei is playing host to a data infrastructure forum. And one of the international companies attending is the engineering group. They're a leading digital services platform, offering integrated tech solutions to help industries reimagine how they work and store and scale up. So, pros to all that too. And also pros to engineering's infrastructure director, Ingrid Kolu, for taking time out from the forum to tell me more about the company's digital transformation strategy. There are a couple of elements that are core in our strategy in terms of digital transformation. First of all, people. So it's really important to have talented people. And we have around 14K people around the globe with specialized technology skills. This is really a key point. Second point, AI and automation should be embedded in every kind of service and every kind of layer in our organization. And third point is related to infrastructure at the end. So mm -hmm. modular and hybrid IT to provide a mean IT with different velocity and a scalable and reliable infrastructure. So it's a three part strategy or three underpinnings. With all that, what's the sort of biggest achievement to date do you think that you'd point to? Well, in terms of achievement, we can explore, I think, some achievement in healthcare and also in a financial service industry, which mm. are a key industry that you can see at the moment since our mission critical ones and are providing services to communities at the end. So extremely important and also with a high level of regulation inside. So what we've done in the financial service industry is that we provided to financial service sector some key services such as a redesign basically of the infrastructure architecture, meeting the new requirements and provide a hybrid cloud solution to them. Allowing them, first of all, to enable to usage, uh, the usage in a better way of uh, data, structure and structured data in a data lake and providing them also specific uh, solution in order to uh, provide a better decision, real-time decision for their clients. While if we consider the healthcare industry, well, we provide the digital services for uh, the end-to-end -end patient journey, starting from telemedicine until the digitalization of uh, the different uh, kind of uh, AI-related diagnostic services for, uh, for a patient itself, and also, of course, uh, provide secure data in terms of patient data, so available directly to the patient and also to the doctor. Yeah. I mean, you mentioned a couple of industries there. You, you serve different countries, different domains, different business requirements. Yeah. So what are some of the operational challenges that you face in terms of data center construction and management and data storage capacity? Sure. Well, what we can see at the moment is that the business has changed. It has changed a lot and it is now, not in the next five years. So edge computing, AI, automation, um, modular IT, the hybrid IT models are changes a lot also the infrastructure. And what I can see is that in every kind of industry there is a huge impact in terms of service reliability. So 24 hours per day and seven days per seven. We need to pay attention to what I call the infrastructure paradox. So basically, how can I deliver every time diversified services without compromising the infrastructure? So basically without starting from scratch every time to build a new infrastructure. Well, we have two answers here at engineering. First, we have built a, a three composable data center, three data centers with all the certification required to meet a different kind of industry. And the second option here is really to build all flash storage solution. This is what we've done also with Huawei. So in particular, scalable architectures, a flexible architecture in order to meet the different demands, always with AI the automation embedded. You, you talked about diversified services there actually in terms of tailored capacities and capabilities for yeah. sort of specific business requirements. Tell us a bit more about that then and the sort of uh, what that will achieve. Sure. The key point here is to change a little bit the paradigm from a storage uh, as a support layer to mm. storage layer as really a strategic support to drive a digital transformation. So new storage solutions should be adaptive, should be convergent, 
enabling also the usage of a sun and NASA architecture inside, as we have done with Ocean Store Dorado. This is really important. And uh, with AI included. In this sense, uh, we can really meet the different demands in terms of scalability, in terms of data latency, in terms of RPO and RTO. And in particular with the Huawei, what we build is a kind of active-active configuration in one of the three data centers, enabling an RTO close to zero and RPO near zero. And this means basically that we can scale a lot mm. uh, our capacity in order to meet the different demands. And you talk about teaming up with Huawei data storage, giving that very solid foundation reliability to the sort of storage infrastructure. And I think you referred just now as well to the three data center, three DC solution and all flash products. So what is the, the technical support that Huawei is providing the engineering group? Yes, we have chosen first of all uh, uh, Huawei because uh, really we needed a partner to share you know, the same vision that we have in engineering. So thanks uh, to Huawei Ocean Store Dorado, we moved from the zero, the traditional approach for Sun and NAS, with the, which is basically workload based and vendor based, mm -hmm. to a completely different paradigm, which is an all flash storage technology. And uh, in this way, we achieved a lot of uh, benefits. First is the scalability, but I can mention also a huge reliability of the service because it's 99.9999%. There's a lot of nines in It's that, a lot yeah. of nines, so I don't have to forget, I mean, uh, any nines here because it's really important. And uh, another point to be considered is a huge vendor consolidation and really cost reduction in terms of operations management. So basically, I can sleep more at night and also my clients are really, really glad to, for this achievement, let me say. So it's that peace of mind. We're, yeah. we're only a few yards away from the Huawei Data Infrastructure Forum taking place here in Munich. It's impossible, I know, but you've talked about AI. What is the, the future hold, do you think, in this data storage field? And, and what are the future projects you've got in line for the partnership with Huawei? Well, for me, strategic partnership means, first of all, co-innovation. So we need to understand together how to address the new market change challenges, such as AI, um, new workloads, such as uh, cloud uh, computing uh, stack related mm -hmm. also in specific to edge computing. So we need to understand how really to provide a, a flexible, but also uh, with the right cost uh, service behind. So it's really important for us. Also, green IT is another trend that is fundamental for us. But in the end, one thing that really we can, uh, we can um, make together is uh, to, considering the infrastructure that we have just built all together, the old flash infrastructure, I would like to, to activate uh, the ransomware detection, uh, mm. protection as a service, which is really important for me because if we consider the cybersecurity attacks that we have at the moment, thanks to this technology, I can achieve 99.99% of detection rate of cyber attacks. This is one thing that really I would like to, to pursue together with Huawei. And then we need to study all the time together how to put AI automation in our, our modular infrastructure. This is really important for me. You've got even more peace of mind coming up, sleeping exactly. really well at night. <laughs> <laughs> thanks exactly. very much. Exactly. Thanks a lot for your time, really.